Hello everyone, in this video we will have a look on packet capture in Cisco Nexus 9K. So there are three ways to perform a packet capture, first is Ethanalyzer 2, second is TCP dump 2 and the third one is taking a span. So if we talk about Ethanalyzer, Ethanalyzer is a Cisco NXOS protocol tool based on Wireshark. Ethanalyzer is a command line version of Wireshark. By default Ethanalyzer captures the traffic of control plane, the control traffic but you can also capture the data traffic by using an access list with, with a lock keyword. So in order to perform a data packet capture using ETH analyzer, you have to first define an ACL with a lock keyword, then you have to run the ETH analyzer. So if we have a look on the lab, so this is the lab, we have two systems, system 2 and system 3 connected to Nexus. System 2 IP is 2.2, system 3 IP is 3.2, so we will be capturing the traffic between these two uh, systems. So 2.2 is doing a continuous ping towards 3.2 so we will be capturing this ICMP traffic. So in order to uh, capture the traffic first we have to define an ACL. So we have to first define an ACL. I will name that ACL as cap. Then we have to define the uh, you know define the traffic which we want to capture. So we are capturing the traffic within only these two hosts. So we will define a host 192.168.2.2 and host 92.168.3.2 Now in order to capture the traffic we have to use this lock keyword. This will punt the traffic of uh, this traffic to the CPU. So this will send this traffic to the CPU. Okay. I think I have already I already have this access list created so first I have to let me remove the access list then I will recreate it. From my IP host 192.168.2.2 host 192.168.3.2 <coughs> and log the traffic then to permit all other traffic we will use permit IP any any so this will only log this traffic because we have used log keyword here right now what we have to do we have to go to this interface and apply this ACL so I'll go to interface Ethernet one by one IP access group uh, we have created by name of CAP that is in. now we have to run the ETH analyzer so command is ETH analyzer local interface now we are we are having two options management and inbound so to capture the data traffic we have to use inbound now either we can run it on complete inbound so what it will do it will capture all the traffic that is locked right but in order to capture a specific traffic we have to use a capture filter so why it is recommended to use a filter because Wireshark impacts the CPU of, of your switch right so if you will run the capture for all the traffic it might impact the CPU and the performance so just to see let's uh, have a look on the current uh, packet capture right uh, the current CPU utilization of the switch so this is the another console to that same switch so if we check the current utilization of CPU for now like for in last 60 seconds it is not utilized more than 60 percent so let's run the packet capture and then see so to filter just the traffic for a particular host we'll use the capture filter keyword here and we, what we have to capture we have to capture the traffic for host 192.168.3.2 after that we have an option to define the, the limit capture frame how many frames we want to capture by default if i will run this command it will only capture 10 frames but if, if i want to capture more frame then i will i have to define a uh, this limit capture frame so let's say i want to capture 20 frames right now hit enter so now this is capture right and let's see the cpu utilization okay so So if we check the last 60 second utilization, it is still under control for now because we have only 
capture 20 frames right now this is the capture that we have taken so it is capturing all the traffic between 2.2 and 3.2 right now let's say I want to you know I want a PK file to be analyzed by a Bioshock right so what I have to do after this I have to define a right keyword then I have to define where I want to save it let's say I want to save it to boot flash with a file name capture.pk Okay, now it will, uh, you know, it will create a file name capture dot uh, in the boot flash. So here it is showing how many packets it has captured, twenty, right? So now if I go to dir, I can see here a capture pcap is here, right? So in order to save this capture pcap to the system, I will use tftp. So I will use copy boot flash capture.pcap then define the tftp path so let me open the tftp as well and we'll use an 83.1 here and to save the to save the capture, capture file desktop okay now we have to copy it Now copy is complete. So if I go to my desktop, I have this capture file which I can open with Wireshark. So this is the capture that we have taken. So it has the communication between 2.2 and 3.2. Now there are other keywords as well that you can use instead of instead of using host. There are other keywords as well. Let's say I want to I want to capture only the ICMP traffic, so I'll use the keyword ICMP here. This will capture only the ICMP traffic, right? Similarly, I can use source host, destination host, network keyword as well. So this is how you take packet capture using the ETH analyzer tool. Now the second way is to do using the TCP dump. So in order to use TCP dump, you have to first enable the bash shell in the nexus so what I, we have to do we have to enable the feature bash shell okay once it is enabled now i can go to the bash of this this nexus right now the command to run a packet capture is tcp dump so we have to use sudo keyword to become a super user and then tcp dump okay now in, I, I need to define the interface on which I need to take the capture so here once you go into the bash prompt or the uh, Linux uh, shell the key the interface name will change so in order to check check the interface we have to first run if config to check what all interfaces are available so now I want to take capture on eth1 by 3 so I have to write eth1 dash 3 right so what I'll do I'll write sudo tcp dump then minus i then the interface interface is eth1-3 now i can define the host for which i want to take the packet capture so if i simply run this it, it will capture all the traffic on this interface okay but okay this is the uh, this is the uh, you know this is the port on which we have taken the ssh of this session so it is showing the ssh traffic here with TCP dump, you, you need not to define any ACL. TCP dump can work without any ACL as well, right? So TCP dump will, by default, capture the traffic. Just for representation, let me remove that ACL which we have created. So I'm going to remove the ACL. There is no need to define any ACL here. Now there is no ACL, right? Now again, let's go to the bash. Okay, now sudo, then TCP dump. Then the interface, minus i, minus i means we have to define a minus i keyword is used to define an interface. So we'll take a packet capture on ETH one slash one which is this one okay 
python slash find interface now if i run this it will it will take all the packet capture on this interface but if i want to define a particular host for which packet capture needs to be taken i'll define host ip 192.168.3.2 so it is capturing all the traffic for this interface right now if i want to define if i want to write this file to a uh, to a you know to a boot flash for for the analysis then i have to use a keyboard minus w then where i want to write it let's say i want to write it on boot flash okay and then we have to define the file name let's say i'll name this one as capture 2.pcap right then minus v minus v is for verbose so that you know we can check how many you know packets has been captured around this so it's showing you know we have captured four frames eight frames ten frames right so now it should have captured this capture 2.pcap on the boot flash so let me exit from the bash and let's check boot flash so okay it's not showing here let's go again to the bash and see where it has saved it so we are currently on home so let's go to boot flash directory okay i think it hasn't copied let me run this command again so to save it to boot flash and okay it is not saved okay here it is okay so it is saved as capture dot boot flash here right capture to dot pcap now in order to copy it we can again use a tftp and it is saved as the name boot flash capture 2.pcap so we can use tftp to copy this file on our system so this is how you take the packet capture using tcp dump so for tcp dump you have to first go to the bash shell then you have to run the tcp dump command hope this video is helpful for you Please do subscribe to my channel for further videos. Thank you.